guys. Well, welcome to day three of the color diet. Today is day yellow. I'm actually really excited about today, to be honest with you. I'm excited about day yellow, green, and purple. Day red was awesome. Day orange was a little bit of a trial, although I liked everything that I ate. So um, I'm excited about today, though, because I've got some serious yumminess going on in my kitchen. So I'm going to um, have about an hour and a half before I have to leave for work. So I'm going to make two dishes. I'm going to make some mashed potatoes, and I'm going to make a uh, corn chowder ish type of thing. So mashed potatoes. I have a whole bunch of yellow Yukon gold potatoes. What I'm going to do is chop these into not bite-sized pieces per se because I'm going to end up mashing at least half of it and um, not mashing it mashing it but smooshing it a little bit for the chowder part. So they don't have to be in in bite-sized pieces at all. I'm going to add a yellow onion I make sure I had a yellow onion on hand rather than a white onion or a purple onion. Actually, red onion, purple, whatever. Um, so that's going to go into my pot and that's going to cook together. And then I'm also going to, when I take out about whatever amount of it I'm going to take out to put um, into to make into mashed potatoes, I'm going to take that part out, put it into a container to mash. And when I do that, I am going to add. My new find, Better Than Bouillon, Roasted Garlic Base. You guys have no idea how excited I am to try this. Yay! Okay, so I'm excited about this. I'm going to put that in the potatoes, and I'm going to serve the potatoes with some wax beans. And I'm not really sure, to be honest with you guys, why I don't buy wax beans, because I like them. I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not sure what's behind that. Maybe nobody else in my house does. Maybe it's just kind of not normal to eat a wax bean. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I really like wax beans. So I'm going to have mashed potatoes and wax beans. And then with the rest of what's left in there, oh, um, yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay, so I'm going to have the rest of the potatoes and what I'm going to do is probably just take them out of the pot so I can use the pot to warm up a few other things. I'm going to make this into some bite-sized pieces, um, cook the pepper, and I'm also going to add in some yellow garbanzo beans. And I looked at these guys there, yeah, they're yellow. They're definitely definitely yellow. So I'm going to put some garbanzo beans into my um, corn chowder. Obviously if you're making corn chowder you have to have some sweet corn, no salt added, and um, I will end up putting some garlic in that, some actual regular garlic in that, and then just regular better than bouillon no chicken base to give it a little bit of flavor. So that's going to go in there. I'm also going to bring with me to eat my yellow apple that I bought yesterday which got a little bit banged up on the drive home. Oh well, I'm sure it'll taste fine. And then I'm going to take with me, I asked my husband to get a colorful pack of tomatoes for me, which he did. I'm gonna take out a few of the yellow ones to take with me. I'm kind of excited about those purple ones. I can eat those on a purple day. They're kind of a cross between purple and green, to be honest with you, um, but they're very tasty. So I will probably have those on a purple day because they're kind of, they're more purple than they are green. So anyway, tomatoes. Um, so yeah, it's 3.35. I gotta get cooking. So here I go. I will let you guys see um, what it is that I've made and let you know if I change anything in the middle of cooking or anything along those lines. So here we go. We'll talk to you guys and see you in a little bit. Okay guys, so when I was little, I learned a phrase that you probably are familiar with that my mom taught me that she said, um, don't toot your own horn. And so for those of you that don't actually know what that means, basically that is, uh, don't, uh, don't brag. <laughs> but toot toot, today is gonna be an awesome, awesome day for food. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited. So in the big pot went the potatoes, potatoes, onions, water to cover it, um, a can of garbanzo beans, and that was it. And I let that cook for probably like 20 minutes maybe boil, something like that. Anyway, till the potatoes were done and the onions were done, so no big deal. And then I scooped out with a, with a slotted spoon, I scooped out probably about two thirds of the potatoes and put them in a little container. And then in that container I added, um, I added the potatoes and the onions and the garbanzo beans. Okay, so in that container I put a little bit of the garlic, um, probably two teaspoons of the garlic, better than bouillon. Oh my gosh, it's so good. 
So anyway, I have one container, and I have to admit, this whole time that I've been cooking and being busy, every time I walk by my container, I've eaten like one or two of these um, yellow wax beans out of the top, because, oh my gosh, guys, I love wax beans. I had, I just, I had forgotten. Mm, they're so good. So, I've got some wax beans, and then I've got some mashed potatoes on this side. So, yeah, these are like insanely good. Um, I've got some left over for the fam. Um, based on the fact there's seven people in our house, it's probably not enough, but you know, whatever. <laughs> they can have a little tiny plop, a little tiny bit. Anyway, so there's that. And then, once the potatoes were done, um, well, once I was done making the mashed potatoes, I got the um, big pot and I dumped, so I took, put the lid on the top and I dumped some of the water out. Um, but I left probably about this much water in the bottom of the pot. And then in there, I put one of the can of corn with the liquid. Okay, first, before I did that, before I did that, I took my potato masher, which this is the one that I use. This one works way better than that little round guy. Um, so I put the potato masher and I just really roughly chopped them uh, or pushed on them. So there's actually some chunks of potato left in here. It's a. Uh, All right, come on camera, you can do it. There we go. So you can see there are some chunks of potato left in there. Um, so there's, mash that up a little bit. And then I actually didn't wanna get another pot dirty. So I put my yellow pepper on a paper plate and microwaved it at a minute and 11 seconds, just one on one, one on one, one on one for three cycles. So a little over, about three and a half minutes um, to get it to be where it wasn't uh, crunchy anymore. And so that went in the soup a can of corn that was not drained, a can of corn that was drained. There's no salt in them, so it's just the water that the corn was in. Um, and then a heaping tablespoon of the Better Than Bouillon no chicken base. And then um, a little bit more, not like maybe another teaspoon. So maybe four teaspoons total. Um, maybe five teaspoons total because it was a heaping tablespoon. I don't measure that kind of stuff, but guys, this is so good. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. So that is my corn chowder, and those are my mashed potatoes. It's only 424, so that's good, because I got a kitchen to clean, because I made a mess everywhere, like usual. But um, yeah, I'm going to turn around and turn the camera around and show you guys um, the food that I made. I'm not good with the, uh, what people call food porn. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just not good with the pictures. Um, but I definitely wanna show you what it is that I've got going on. Super, super yummy. I highly suggest you have a yellow day. So then, obviously I have my my little baggie of yellow tomatoes, which I I would be shocked if I ate all of those. Um, but I just picked all the yellow ones out and put them in a baggie and took them. And then, my apple. So that's it, guys. That's going to be my day of food. I probably will talk to you again later. But um, let me show you what, what this uh, food looks like. Okay guys, so here are the garlic mashed potatoes. Um, you could just barely see some of the garbanzo beans still in there. Like right there is a garbanzo bean. Um, but yeah, it, this is actually really, really good. I used, to mash them, I used water from the pot that they cooked in, so it was very starchy. Um, but they're nice and creamy and, oh gosh, they're really good. So here's my one meal for the day. My mashed potatoes and my and wax beans. And then over here is the hmm. well, I would like to get it for you without a shadow, but it's just not going to happen. So Oh, isn't that pretty? There is my soup. Um, and there's my container of soup that I'm going to take with me. And again, there's shadows and I can't do anything about that because I have not taken any kind of a professional photography class ever. Isn't that good looking? Oh my gosh. Anyway, it really does taste really good. So um, either or both of these recipes would be certainly doable. I would highly recommend that you give it a try. And I need to go clean my kitchen. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Alrighty guys, so I just got home and this is what I am going to have for supper. A little bit more of the soup. And it is actually really good. It's very tasty. My husband really enjoyed it. My daughter liked it. My son thought it was eh. And um, yeah. It's pretty good stuff, so I'm going to eat that and hang out for a little bit and go to bed. And I will talk to you guys again for day green.
Alrighty guys, so like we talked about yesterday, oranges and yellows are actually grouped together. So they have um, lots of fiber, lots of vitamins. The carotenoids that are in the yellow foods are actually what make them really bright and sunny and pretty. They don't have a whole lot of yellow foods listed here, but some of the things that I enjoyed were the yellow wax beans and the yellow, um, what do you call those? The Yukon Gold potatoes, those are really good. And obviously yellow apples. Um, so again, the things that are really important and healthy for you on here, yeah, it's good for your joints and heart disease and all that good stuff, just like all the others. Um, the eye, eye health is really important with the carotenoids. Helps to improve that. Um, protecting the sun, the skin against sun and pollution, that's pretty cool. You can't really, I mean, how can you complain? Eat a carrot, have skin protection. Life is good. So anyway, that's a little bit about the oranges and yellows and why they're important for you to eat. And we will check out some of the greens tomorrow.